Hello everyone, welcome again to the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage. And I'm making a video, I've got a couple of videos I wanted to make about cams. Now cams were uh, one of the ways in which when you got a sewing machine from parts of the vintage era, uh, they might have something like zigzag built in. They might even have decorative stitches built in. But the cost of making a machine to, that did those things uh, was quite expensive. One of the ways you could make a machine a little less costly was to offer the ability to make decorative stitches, but to do it with a cam. And of course a cam is basically, it's like a pattern on a disc. These are Singer cams. They're called Top Hat. I think people call them that. I don't know that Singer did uh, for an obvious reason here. And they came in many different patterns. Now these were, I don't know if there were machines before the 400 that used these, but these were used in the Singer Slanomatic 400 series, as well as the 500 Rocketeer. And even uh, many of these could still be used in some of the 600 machines, 600 series machines. Now, remember that um, these items were extras. They were um, accessories and you'd pay, they were up they were basically uh, items that the customer could buy and pay extra for and they were you know they were a good profit center for Singer or whoever the sewing dealer was and they actually work quite well. I've demonstrated in my video on the 403 how they work and how to insert them. Uh, if you ever have an issue with a cam there's there's any number of things that could cause that, but one of those is user error, because if you don't set your machine up a certain way to insert the cam, then you will have problems. But just follow your manual and you should be okay, unless there are parts that need overhauling, you know, cleaning, um, degreasing, new oil, and so forth. Now, these cams um, had any number of, uh, any number of patterns uh, the most, you know, the, one of the most sought after would have been zigzag. And if you have a 403, you need that zigzag cam in order to do a zigzag stitch. So uh, that cam is number zero. So I had someone uh, ask me about these. And I, you can see from the box, I got these on eBay. And I, I had some. And I actually ended up buying two sets on eBay. And by putting the three together, I was able to get a full set of these cams, right? Zero through 22. So there were technically 23 of these. Now, someone asked me, um, I have these listed, a uh, whole collection for sale. I originally bought these. The reason I, I don't typically buy accessories, uh, I simply take what comes with the machine and I offer that to uh, whatever client's going to get a machine for me. However, I was originally planning on keeping that 403 that you guys saw in the videos. And so I bought, I wanted to have a full set. And I ended up finding someone who really wanted that machine. And they said, you know, they were looking to do some sewing with it. Anyway, you, you guys know how it goes. I always think I'm going to keep something and end up selling it. So I sold that 403 and it included the Zero Cam. Um, however, this set has one through 22. Um, so uh, anyway, someone saw the listing and they asked me, do you have a picture of what these stitches look like? You know, I thought about it and I was like, no. Now, if I had thought about this, I could have made a video with each one of these. It would have taken a while, but I could have created, you know, a decorative stitch video. Uh, you know, there's 20 something of these things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long a video that would have been. In any case, um, I don't have the 403 anymore, so I can't do that. But I did want to show you guys something, uh, which is a chart. I went online and found this. Now, this was a PDF, and it was, uh, I printed it out here. But you can see, and I'll zoom in here for you guys. It's a wonderful chart, and it has the 401 and the 403. I think this was produced by Singer, and I think it was to help customers who might have gotten confused when they walked into the dealership. The machines, you know, they're very similar looking, except for some of the front controls. But of course, inside, they're quite different. The 401 had all of its decorative stitches built in, except for four of them. 
and that's they're called special fashion discs. So <laughs> you could uh, you could pay extra if you wanted to get these, and then your 401 could do everything. The 401 was state of the art, and it had a lot of complex um, uh, mechanicals inside, and it did a lot of different decorative stitches. It was a pretty impressive piece of technology, but they couldn't cram that many. They 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 just couldn't get these four in there. So hey, if you want these four, you can. but they created a, a hatch just like the 403 has, so that you could use these um, these these four special cams if you were willing to pay extra for them. Now. On the 403 over here, remember, the 403 will only be a straight stitch machine unless you have, at a minimum, you need the cam labeled zero, which is this one, and of course that allows you to do zigzag. You cannot do zigzag on a 403 without this cam. So if you're looking to buy one, uh, open up the machine and make sure it has that zero cam in there or somewhere. If not, you'll have to find one before you can do zigzag. Uh, but anyway, I printed this off and it's 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 not too bad. It actually has a lot of these patterns and it's got a you know it's basically an illustration. And so uh, you can just imagine a salesperson say, hey, if you get the 401, you only need to buy these, right? He's like, well, what's the big deal? Well, apparently, and you can tell, it says here, fashion discs individually packaged available for separate purchase. They would sell these individually, and I don't know what the price was. I'm gonna to have to see if I can find out, but they weren't cheap. And eventually people may have balked at having to pay for each one individually, and eventually Singer would put these in packs of three, and then eventually maybe even packs of six, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to uh, put a link to this PDF so you guys can get it. You can look at it on your computers. Uh, and you can, you know, if you want to, you can uh, you can print this thing. But it's nice because you can't, yeah, you can see the pattern that's etched on the disc, sort of. But this is a very nice uh, sort of, you know, it's an illustration. And it would have been very helpful for a singer salesperson. Because if you're trying to tell people, hey, don't you want to make these decorative stitches? Don't you want to pay more? Well, what do they look like? And yeah, you could show examples of them, but this chart was a very nice uh, reference that the dealership would have found useful, I believe. And anyway, just thought I'd share this with you guys. And uh, like I said, this, this style of cam, the top hat cams, are the easiest to find of all the cams. Why? Because, again, Singer was a giant company. And even though they built machines for... I think all the machines together that take these cams may have been built over 10 years. When you're talking about Singer, you're talking about a lot. So you can find them on eBay, Etsy, Bonanza, and other sites. But again, you have to see what the numbers are and make sure that these are the cams that go with your machine. Because once you get into the 600 and 700 series, some of those cams work and some don't. They're not always backward compatible. So. Um, but anyway, these are fairly inexpensive. However, to put together a full set like this cost me quite a lot. So uh, again, I normally don't buy accessories for a machine unless I'm going to keep it. And just as I, you know, you guys probably could have predicted, yes, somebody really wanted that 403. And I decided to hold off and I held on to the Neki BU Mira for the moment. Um, but anyway, I will put a link to the PDF here in the video uh, description. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. Singer Cams. If you're going to get cams, these are probably some of the uh, um, most easily accessible online, sort of easily accessible. They're not terribly expensive. Some are more than others. I think I had to pay extra for uh, the one that says Icicle for whatever reason. It's, you know, some of them are harder to find than others. Um, and they hold up well. I mean, I've, I've yet to come across a broken one unless someone's dropped it or stepped on it. So. Uh, hope this was helpful, guys. Again, cams are something you may have a machine with a with an open hatch in the top that takes cams. And um, if you do, uh, I appreciate whoever it was that asked me about this. And I hadn't really gone looking for it. Didn't know this existed. And uh, again, I hope this is helpful for some of you guys who are either maybe you have these cams and you don't really know what the patterns look like and you don't want to do a sewing off of every single one. Or maybe you... Um, um, or thinking about buying cams and you'd like to have a kind of a quick reference. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. Uh, there will be more videos to come.